Hi friends. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a different project today. I'm, uh, I think of myself sometimes as kind of like a, a Jane of all trades and master of none. So um, today I have, I need a little birthday gift and I like to make a lot of birthday gifts myself. And sometimes I'll make little things ahead and I keep them in a box. This is a silk scarf that I hand dyed um, using natural fibers. This pattern here is when it was wound with string and it's been stored away in my box. I have a couple others as well, just waiting for the right time. And I need a little birthday gift for somebody this week and she wears things like this. Um, and so I thought that I would do a little bit of screen printing on it just to add something to it. You can see a little bit of the leaves that printed here from when I wrapped it up. I wrapped it with, with leaves on the inside. And uh, further up in the scarf, I think you can see, I'm not sure if they show up in the camera or not, but you can see some leaf shapes here and there. Uh, so I, um, I just thought what I would do is I have these screens and, um, for screen printing, they're all of my, all of my screens are of my own design. So I've drawn them, painted them, um, different designs. Some I've designed even on my, on my iPad and I send them to somebody who does screen prints. And so I have a little box of them that I use for different different projects in my fiber art or decorating things. So this one here is a kind of a simple flower, almost like a, maybe a type of zinnia. And I thought it would be nice to put the odd one on this scarf. And I just was sitting here trying to decide the color. I have um, cedar color, opaque, and this one is a is a called a shimmer plum. So it's a deep, deep purple purple, but it has a little bit of a shimmer. Uh, I picked this one out, which is a summer light copper, and it also has a bit of a shimmer. It's almost empty, um, but I'm going to use a very little bit of it. And then I took out this one here, which is called uh, summer bronze. And so it's kind of a yellowy green bronze. Um, and I was thinking maybe I might put that as the center or the purple as the center. So these, I don't know how well you can see these, um, the flower shapes. Uh, there's, a, there's a dark flower, which in the original design, I painted on paper using a black India ink, a flat brush, uh, the shapes and dots in the middle. And then I sent that design away to make into a screen print. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to try to do the petals around the outside of the flower in this gold color. So what I'm using is uh, I like to use these, these cards. I'm grabbing a rag because I always manage to get some on my hands when I'm painting uh, for scraping. So the idea is to try to scrape, I don't know how many of you seen, have seen screen printing before, but there are little fine holes that are burnt into this, this mesh. And if you use the card to press, you squeeze the paint through the holes. So I'm just giving this a, a little extra. Um, this paint that I'm using, actually, it, it usually normally works a little bit quicker and a little bit better than this, but this paint is quite, uh, was dried a little bit. And I mixed it with a very little bit of fabric medium to soften it up a bit because it's all I have of that color. Uh, 
and I've got two. I can't quite, okay, I think I'm going to do that one there. That's just enough to get this one. And my philosophy with anything handmade is I do really like to see the flaws and the little different parts of something that is handmade, that makes it look handmade. So I'm going to carefully lift this from the scarf. And you can see where the gold printed. It also went through the scarf. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move this, let it dry, because I don't want it to get it anywhere else. Um, I will wipe this, I will wipe this off and clean it. I think I might even hang this and I have a couple more scarves that I'm going to try. I will do the centers of the flowers later. Um, possibly with the, that limey green color. And I may only put a couple more flowers up, up here in this little space right here. And uh, so I think I'm going to get a hanger and hang it on the hanger. And I do have a couple other scarves that uh, I'm going to do as well. So um, I'll come back and show you those once I... Uh, I've got to go wash this off immediately because if you let it dry... You, and you can see the flowers on it a little bit better now. If you let it dry, then it will fill in the holes and you won't be able to use it anymore. So you have to rinse it with cool water, not warm, or you'll ruin the screen. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go change it. Wash it and uh, change. So I've washed my screen and dried it. Uh, this is still a little bit wet there, so I'm going to be careful not to put my hand on it. I've placed my screen back on. Um, I'm just going to do another couple of flowers in this area. And I'm going to do this one. And as I said before, I have to be a little bit careful on this one because I'm just trying to get a certain area. But flowers are organic. And uh, when you make things handmade, there's always little... There's always little differences, and, and I, I like that. I embrace that. It's part of the, it's part of the uh, creativity. It's part of the fun of making something handmade. I like that look. So now, again, I'm going to have to pick this up carefully. I'm going to go wash my screen, because this time I really am going to um, pick this up and hang it before I, because I, I can do the other end. Um, I guess you can't see it very well there. I think you can see it there. So I can, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to clean off. By the way, I didn't mention what I had underneath here, the paper. Um, this is actually a foam core board. But underneath, or taped on top of the foam core board, is a piece of freezer paper. So on one side, the freezer paper is matte. And on the other side, which is this side... It's shiny, and so I like to tape things like that onto my foam core. This is a scrap, and I'm just, I'm just looking to see if any of this paint would, uh, would scrape up or show. It doesn't really. Um, I don't like to waste paint, though, and so before I go clean off this card, um, I rather like this piece, and I think it would be kind of pretty if I used it for something. I don't know what, maybe a little pencil case. And it just happens that this gold color does kind of match what I've got on here. 
So this is another thing I do. Um, just never waste paint. Sometimes I can even get out my uh, sketchbook and scrape it into my scrape it or paint it into my sketchbook. There, adds a little. Now I'm going to go wash these and it adds a little shimmer to that. And I can quite see this being used for, I'll, I'll eventually fill the whole thing. And it would make a nice little bag with some, with uh, some stitching, some, some more screen printing, some free motion stitching. It, it'd be fun. A little pencil case, a little notions bag, something like that. So I'm going to take another break, go wash off my things and uh, hang that up. While my first scarf is dying, I've pulled out um, another one. And this one has uh, got some deeper, richer colors in pinks. A bit of purple and, and blue in it. It's really pretty. There's no distinct... I, I may have ice dyed this one. I can't even remember. So there's no distinct um, leaf shapes or anything. Just, uh, just the color. Um, so I've picked out a different screen for this one. Again, it's another screen that I designed. This I designed on my iPad and sent in and had a, had a screen made. I think this would be quite nice in a, just a small random area. And I think I'm going to try it with this color here, which is the Cita Color Opaque. Uh, it's called Shimmer Plum. Um, I'm going to give that a try in a few minutes.